You don't make any progress despite hitting the gym regularly? Well, here's what they didn't tell you. Training is only one part of getting jacked, but there are three more factors that can make or break your training success. So in this three minute Thursday episode, let's look at these three neglected factors for muscle growth. Before we start, let's just quickly recap the basics, because if you don't get the training basics right, then you will not see progress either way. So what are the basics? First, follow a workout routine and hit the gym regularly. Make sure that you learn the proper technique of all exercises exercises. Train close to failure and progressively overload whenever you can. But these are really just the bare minimum. And if you want to learn more about the training basics in a bit more detail, then you can check out the videos in this playlist right here. But for this video, let's assume that your training is on point. You follow a solid workout routine, you hit the gym regularly and you train hard. If you're still not making progress, then it might be because you neglected one of the three following factors. So let's put three minutes on the clock and let's have a look at them. The first factor is also the most obvious one, nutrition. If you don't see any progress, then it might be that you're not eating enough. When you're trying to build muscle mass, you should eat at maintenance calories or even better in a slight caloric surplus. I mean, technically it's possible to build muscle mass in a caloric deficit, but it's much harder and much slower. So let's just ignore that for a moment. The reason why you need to eat at maintenance calories or in a slight surplus is that building muscle mass requires energy. A lot of it actually. And that energy needs to come from somewhere. So unless you're overweight or obese, you probably have to consume these extra calories. But before you get too hyped and start your dirty bulk, the emphasis here is really on the word slight caloric surplus. I assume you want to primarily build muscle mass and not gain a ton of fat. And in that case, a caloric surplus of around 10 to 20% is more than sufficient. Another nutrition related reason why you're not building muscle mass is that you might not eat enough protein. One mechanism of muscle hypertrophy is muscle protein synthesis. And proteins are made of building blocks called amino acids, which means that you need to have sufficient amounts of amino acids to build all these muscle proteins. So where do these amino acids come from? The body uses 20 amino acids to make proteins and 11 of them the body can make itself. However, the other nine are considered essential because you need to consume them through your diet. And a good recommendation for dietary protein intake while resistance training is about 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Or for my imperial folks, 0.7 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight per day. For example, to hit these recommendations, a person weighing 80 kilos would need to consume between 128 to 176 grams of protein per day. But enough about protein and calories, let's look at the second factor that can hinder muscle growth, which is sleep, or rather a lack thereof. Sleep is essential for muscle growth because many cellular repair mechanisms take place while you sleep. And that includes muscle repair, tissue growth and protein synthesis. For adults, the WHO recommends between 7 and 9 hours of sleep per night. How much sleep you need exactly is highly individual and you have to find out for yourself what is the ideal amount of sleep for you. However, don't tell me that you only need 4 to 5 hours of sleep per night because you're just lying to yourself. You need 7 to 9 hours every night just like the rest of us. But seriously guys, get enough sleep. Being sleep deprived is not funny, it, it's not cool, and it has a ton of negative health side effects. So get your rest. Okay, but moving on to the third factor that might hinder muscle hypertrophy, which is stress. When you are stressed for whatever reason and you're stressed constantly, your body produces the stress hormone cortisol. Cortisol also acts on catabolic pathways, meaning that it limits or even prevents muscle hypertrophy. So if your training and your nutrition and your sleep are all on point but you're constantly stressed, then that might be why you're not making progress. Okay, that was it for today's video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you found this video useful and you'd like to see more of them. See you in the next one. Bye.